What's going on, everybody? Can I draft today? Let's traditional draft war with Spark, and let's make sure we can't rank it. Oh, rank draft for Ravican Legion ends in six, seven, 17 hours, so it should be good after that, I guess. Boom. I'll purchase it. I'm in. These are too small. This is not a reasonable size. Make them bigger. Thank you. Command the Dread Horde. How good is this? Uh, this pack is actually very good. I have an Omnixus of Cruelty in Arlen and a Command the Dreadhorn. Thank Horde. you! Uh, I mean, you can get multiple creatures with this. Like, this isn't just, like, get back one six drop. It's also, I can get back three drop, three drop, four drop. I mean, I take ten, but, like, that seems pretty game swinging. Kerwit, 14 months of crazy insanity is right. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Haji Galashi, I did see those 100 Frank is not even live yet bits. Really appreciate those as well. You guys are, uh, are literal saints. I mean, I think I'd probably take, I think Arlen is stronger than Cruelty, although Cruelty is, like, one of the best removal spells. Taking 10 is a lot, but you're also getting back two Planeswalkers and a creature. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, ar I'm not arguing that, like, 10 isn't a lot for sure. It, it definitely is. Are we talking about Police Bubblio again? Because that was, that was just fine. I'm Let the go nightly hunt commence. Oh, and then we get a we get rewarded with a Jang Jang Yang. Jang Yangu. I wanna take the Jang Yangu. Hey there. Let me know if you find any cool new plants. Okay, I will. Let you know about the plants I find. <laughs> what a what a what a saint. Um I like Lazotep plating a good amount. Cube when? I have no idea. You got me, buddy. As soon as it's up, you'll know. Band together stays on green. Lazatep plating seems pretty good. I took the plating. <laughs> eh, you can take a New Horizons. Nothing in this pack is actually that exciting. Oh, a Dam Breaker. Oh, Bloom Hulk. Bloom Hulk alert. It's basically a four mana Kiora's Dam Breaker. Hunting every seems aggressive. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Is this just primordial worm? Why did that? It's weird the things that do and don't make noises. You think they might make an arena cube with standard cards? If they do, that doesn't sound very thrilling. I'd probably play it, but I mean, it sounds kind of limiting. Mostly because standard has good threats, but not very good answers. I feel like that's uh, that's been the the R and D mantra for the past five or so years, ten or so years. It's just Skulker, right? Like I think it's better than the seven six. And a dam breaker seems good. Oh, gather courage in crisis or a transmutation. Interesting. I think Courage and Crisis is probably better when we have Bloom Hulk and Dam Breaker. And we can just get this transmutation anyway. Alright. Well, seems good. You can go here. I'm just gonna take all the blue and green cards, apparently. I'm just gonna take all these cruelty extractors because if we or charity extractors, because if we need to board into the Vivian Champion of the Wilds, seems pretty good. If we need to board into those. They were just fine the other day with uh, with old Robert. I'm gonna take Every this Vivian. Vivian is very very stronger. good. Um, the greedy person in me wants to take the Leyland Prowler, but the san the sane person wants to take the Tamiyo's Epiphany, because it's very good. Callus dismissal. You're also very good. And this deck's looking spicy. I just want a bomb or two, and then we're good to go. Sahili? Hmm. Is that good enough? Hmm.
I don't think we want another dam breaker just yet. Uh, Bond of Insight's pretty okay. Is it better than Sahili though? Explain the difference between gas and petrol to me. Because I just assumed they were the same thing with different names. I think we're going to go with Sahili here. Wonders. Oh, another Lazotep plating? And a, and a Mowu? This pack is stacked. I want to go with the second plating, I think. Oh, Flux Channeler? In this, in this economy? Well, you got to be kidding me. Eh, Bonds actually seems fine. Bonds triggers to Healy. Another dam breaker. This is why we didn't take it so early. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to take stealth mission. I think it's great, but maybe it was the other one, actually. Force landing seems good. Grazer seems fine. It's going to take all the... Petrol has 10% less farts in it. <laughs> well, that's... That's good. That's good. You gotta look on that silver lining. Also, the Roomba is running for the second time today, and I have no idea why. It has. I'm on, it's on my schedule to run at noon uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So it ran at noon, and then it went home, and then it started running again at 4 again. And this Roomba I've had nothing but trouble with. This pack's not very good. I mean, just drawing two forests is not terrible. Uh, the Roomba does have a name. Its name is Big Dumplin. Because I have another Roomba in my... I have. It's not a Roomba. This one's an I, ro an I Life. It's an I Life robot. And this one actually works better, surprisingly, than the actual name brand Roomba. Uh, the one in my room is called uh, Lil Dumplin. So we have Lil Dumplin Big Dumplin. Those are the... I did not put googly eyes on it, but I did put a, a label on it that has its name on it. So it so it's always has its name. Uh, I think we just want the no escape here. I like two drop. We don't have any two drops. I don't think other than like cards that protect our other two drops. A bunch of standard cards. Oh, we're checking this out for sure. Do robot vacuums actually work? Yes. Yes, they do. They're vacuums. I don't know why they wouldn't work. That's a very strange question. The, there's a whole industry built on them, and they've been around for like eight years now, so I can't imagine them not working after all this time. I think someone would be onto them by this point. Hey, wait a minute. These robot vacuums aren't even working. I feel like this is the deck we played against yesterday, actually. Maybe not. Maybe it's close. I mean, people do like Robot Friends, but that doesn't... That doesn't, uh... That doesn't discount their, their effectiveness, right? Like, just because you like the Robot Friend doesn't mean it doesn't work because of that. Like, those are not mutually exclusive. Alright, you can go here. I don't think we need another Kiora Stambreaker. I would like a Crawl Stinger, though. That guy's a good... That guy's a good blocker boy. Why does that... Why does Iron Bully make a random crunch noise? Nothing else makes noises, but that guy just makes a noise. That's weird. What up, Bill Brown? Bill Ghostbusters Brown. Alright, let's see what we got here. Keeping those, keeping those, keep a keep. Flux, crawl, iron, no escape. We can probably cut the new horizons. Am I ready for. I was born ready for more 80s cartoon piano covers, just so you know. Cut Nissa's Triumph. I like Bonds here. James Bonds. How many creatures are we looking at? 
12 creatures? God, I always feel like I'm creature light. Unbelievable. I guess Callus, Lazotep, Lazotep all make creatures. Arlen makes creatures. And take out the no escape. We're going to be tapping out. All right, let's do it. This deck looks pretty okay. It's probably not. It's probably terrible. O2 incoming, guys. Oh my god, are you, did you are you making these like right now, Bill? Because that's really impressive if you're making them and uploading them in like instant speed. Wait, hold on. Two years ago, you you sneak. <laughs> oh, that's oh my god, that that song is just that is my childhood right there. I have a cobra tattoo right on my wrist here. Just so you guys know, this is from the uh, this is from the GI Joe cartoon. And then my biggest pet peeve is when people people come up to me and they're like, "Hey, is that a Cobra Commander tattoo?" And I'm like, "Well, no, it's not a Cobra Commander tattoo. It's just a Cobra tattoo of the entire org. It represents the entire organization, not just the leader. Just to be clear, this is a weird pet peeve of mine where people are like, "Is that a Cobra Commander tattoo?" And I'm like, "No." Wow, that's rude. It's like if you get an Avengers tattoo and someone's like, is that a, is that a Captain America tattoo? And you're like, no. But you but but you tried. Ooh, bloomy boy. Uh let's get rid of this island. Maybe I don't want to play that. I mean, I guess we could play Bloom Hulk next turn. This becomes a 3-5. But then this guy doesn't... We just have three three proliferate guys with nothing that actually can proliferate right now. Oh, that's a good, that's a good turn. So I watched your YouTube video earlier today when you were discussing with that guy regarding leaking spoilers in chat. Just wanted to say that I completely agree with you and your logic behind not being rude and expecting others. One of the things I love about your stream. Keep on doing Strife, thank you so much, though. Really appreciate it, man. Someone also responded and was like, you think it's reasonable to, like... I don't know. It was, it was a weird... It was a weird thing. Yeah, we're just gonna play this guy. This guy is huge. Get him. You go on the internet, you make the decision, you make you might hear spoilers, so if that happens you flip No, that's yeah, but that's shitty. It's you're not making a decision that you're not like it's not like, oh I have the choice oh here we go again, man. Come on. It's just that's just a shitty way to, to look at things. If I go on the internet, I'm not making a decision that I that I might hear spoilers. Like you don't have the alternative. It's not like, oh I just won't go on the internet. Like, people just use the internet for, like, for everything, man. We're in 2019. You can't just not go on the internet. No one's making that choice. It's not like, well, gee, well, do, I, do I not go on the internet today? Or do I accept that I might hear spoilers? Hmm. I guess I won't go on the internet. Like, no one's doing that. It's just a matter of courtesy. Like, sure, it's a small sacrifice to you to not take part in a spoiler discussion in a public forum. But, like... Just make a sacrifice, man. It's not It's not hard, dude. 
I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's really frustrating that people are like, no, I have a right to discuss a movie and ruin it for someone else after a certain period of time. I mean, if you want to do that, maybe that is your right, man. Maybe that is your right. But it's not about rights. It's about consideration. That's all. It's not a rights issue. It's a consideration issue. But anyway. Let's talk about this 1-1 one -one Kiora's Dam Breaker. That's the smallest Leviathan I've ever seen. No worries, Strife. No worries, man. Wow, they use did they use a they use a roused outburst on the one one? That's pretty funny. That's funny to me. Oh wow, and you hit a Jai's greeting. That's nice. That's nice. That is more like a darn breaker. <laughs> and you got Jace's Triumph and a Jaya's Greeting here, huh? Okay. G.I. Joe is there! Oh, you're just gonna bounce my... My fat daddy. Fat bottom boy. Let's do one of these dudes. Oh, they're just going to concede in, in the face of Tamiya's Epiphany. That's interesting because they could block with the 4 3. I don't understand why they conceded there. Okay. I am. I are. I have a confuse, but. You know. You played expo Explode the Opponent. It is successful. Waiting on the opponent. I would pay for a show hand feature, really. Just so you know, I still had all of these. Oh, maybe they're just done. Maybe they're just like, I hate this game and I'm not playing anymore. So I have this filing cabinet. It's an Ikea filing cabinet and I, I kind of hate it. And I, not, not because it's Ikea, not because it's a bad filing cabinet. I just don't feel like I need it. I don't need this filing cabinet. And it's what my PC is on. I have my desktop on the filing cabinet. And I'm just like, I wish I had something more effective. And maybe nicer. So I don't know what to do about that. I guess I could buy a different one. I don't have a surplus of files. I just have, I have a bunch of stuff in there. Like bills or old notes and stuff like that. But like, you know, it's just, it's just kind of... It's too much. I don't need. I don't need all the the room. I don't. I just. I don't like it. I want to get rid of it. I'd like to get rid of it and like sell it on Craigslist or something for, like, you know, forty bucks or something, twenty bucks, and then get something new. But I don't know what to look for instead. I don't know if there's like a, a an accompanying piece I could have for a desk. 
that I can put my PC on. Invest in a shredder? I don't think you're I don't think you're understanding the exercise here, buddy. I don't think you're understanding the exercise. We already have a shredder in the house. My our roommate my roommate Felipe uses it. It's his shredder. And he like shreds his mail and I'm like, dude, nobody cares about your mail. Nobody cares. But anyway, you know, whatever. He can shred whatever he wants. Alright, this is a good match. I had a, I had a good time. Just go to Ikea. Yeah, alright. I'm a bigger fan of looking online. Like, I like looking online for stuff because I feel like I can get a better idea of what my options are. I don't like limiting myself to what's local, you know? I actually like... I, I, I've been in a big, like, refurbished wood mood. Like, reclaimed wood. Reclaimed wood is what the... What it, Ikea has an online <laughs> Yeah, go to the IQ website. Good call. Good call. I still got these bugles from yesterday. Yeah, I'll keep this down. Well, my desk is actually a, um, it's actually humongous. It's like 70 inches. Um, that's a great draw. My desk is actually uh, a countertop from Ikea that I finished. I sanded down and finished it. And then I put it on some, I put it on a, a standing desk, legs, legs of a standing desk. So it's actually pretty sweet. Come on, be a creature. Starting Ooh, off three creature cheese. Let's go with this flux channel. I did the same, never stand out at though. Yeah, I never stand at mine either, but I like the option. I like the option, because I just don't do work where I have to stand, right? Like, I don't, I don't like streaming where I stand, because we actually, as you may have seen the last time I tried to stand and stream, like, the light doesn't get to you. So it kind of goes like, it kind of shrouds you like a sunset. But, um... Are we... But nonetheless, I like the option to have it. Because you can make them go lower than normal desks. I like a low desk. That's something. That is something. So we want to give we want to give reach and uh, reach in the other thing. We could also transmutation to put a counter on this. We could also lazotep plating to trigger this. Put a counter on this. And then transmutation, put a counter on the amass and on this. Hmm. What's you fight like a city brat? Yeah, we'll just pass here. Uh oh, they're highlighting our creatures with things. Why did you main fit this to the channel? Or because I forget that I can play it at instant speed. The the reason we main phase the crawl stinger though is because I wanted to target it with the Vivian. Yeah, that's fair. You got it. Mm. Sometimes I like to stand on my couch and sit on the floor just to mix things up. You're a maniac. Uh 
Oh, that's a nice one. You can still walk away. No attacks. He's a maniac, maniac on the couch floor. And he said, and like, oh, he shouldn't be before. Oh, that's a good one. Put it on this, because then you can proliferate. One, two, three, four. You just play a land this turn and proliferate. Oh, you put on that guy instead? Oh, because you're going to proliferate. I got you. Well, that seems like a short term. One, two, three, proliferate, and you get a five. I mean, I'd still rather trade this than the uh, than the Vivian. Vivian just replaces herself. Man, they didn't even hesitate. Hmm. Boy, I wish I had another island here. That'd be great. Another island would be gas. Show you what was lost. It's gotta be a creature, so we'll take the creature. Oh, biscuits. Can't be that, otherwise, we lose the Vivian. It's gotta be this guy. Oh, uh, we can plating and make a blocker. I'd really like to save the plating for the Sahili, though. I feel like we're surprisingly far behind here. Yeah, that's fine. Are you going to put on this guy now? that you're always going to have a flyer that can proliferate. I bet you are. Transmute whatever. That's aggressive. <coughs> oh god, the proliferate is just bonkers here. I feel like we're really far behind. She did. Every defeat is a new beginning. Yeah, of course you have a six drop. Submit to zero. Sure, we're dead. Is Oreo ice cream different from cookies and cream ice cream by in any in any, in any reasonable way, in any functional way? Again with this? 
I'm just gonna go to the next game. Like they, the proliferate here is just too powerful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. They can just eventually. Man, now you're saying dis now you're saying Oreos are disgusting. Boy, these controversial opinions, man. Did you just take the Vivian readout? I wanted to replace the icon, but you wouldn't let me do that. Is that too much to ask for? Force landing seems good here. Ew, you're skinny. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see, my friend. Saying Oreos are... Like, I understand... Like, one of my... Here's another pet peeve, guys. It's gonna be the pet peeve stream today. Is when people confuse their opinion of something... Of them not liking something with that thing not being good. Like, I, I can appreciate someone not liking something. Like, if I was like, yeah, I don't really enjoy steak. But I don't really feel like I have the luxury of saying steak is disgusting because it's not. Like, it's 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 demonstrably proven to not be disgusting because it's a real food that people enjoy. Like, it's just, I mean, it's just like, it's an interesting way to, like, phrase your opinion in such a way that it's like, my opinion is fact. And, uh, I'm right and you're wrong. It's strange to me. Like, if there's, like, like someone recently said, like, <clears throat> um, Avengers Endgame was a bad movie. And I was like, uh. And then the response was like, or no, well, someone, well, my, my friend Dan actually said, uh, if a movie has 96% of Rotten Tomatoes and makes, like, two billion in its first weekend, it, it, you really can't say it's bad. And then someone said, well, you know, it's, um, I forgot what they said. Anyway, the point is, they said, they, they said something like, you know, if I don't like it, it's bad. Or like, and then then, then the response is like, well, just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's bad, right? Like, if you don't enjoy The Godfather, you know, like, it's not bad. That doesn't make it a bad movie. It just means you personally don't like it. But I mean, like, it's demonstrably a good movie, right? I mean. People are saying eating bugs is disgusting. Like, I would personally say, to me, eating bugs seems disgusting. But I can I can still appreciate the fact that other people enjoy eating bugs, and it is part of other cultures. Eating bugs is not uh, some... Some taboo thing in, in many parts of the world. So, I mean, like... I can very much confirm that that is just simply an opinion of my own. Shut up and take my money! But the, the point is, people... People... people Propose their opinions as if they're fact. Let me see this deck. Abzano Ketra. Yeah, this seems this seems fun. I'll play this. I got you. Oh, they didn't want to. What'd they do? One, two, three, four. Where'd their mana go? Oh, they just played New Horizons. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I think, like, I think there are... I mean, philosophically speaking, it's very hard to say. Right? But I think there are things that are... I'm gonna bounce this thing. I think there are things that are factual... That can be considered factually disgusting like beheading right like i mean i think the general consensus would be that beheading someone is pretty gross it's pretty it's pretty off-putting and uh morally and unconscionable right but maybe it's just a whole culture thing or language right with me being yeah maybe i mean that's definitely true too maybe that's true maybe that's true
Occasionally great, sometimes very medium. I'll just play it after this. You can't stop me. We got 3-3 three, three here. Left me far behind. Yeah, we're just gonna play this. Would you like to see what's left of Scum? Put it on this gentleman. For the fallen. Stack with these two jabronis. Oh, so I don't think... Alright, so as far as beheading is like... I mean, if we can get rid of like all the... Uh, I'll get the guillotine out for some... Yeah, it's unfortunate. Well, now you're getting this. Yeah, that's fine. Am I crunching on? Just the, the leftover bugles from yesterday. The bugles Rob picked up from yesterday. I gotta pull back real far when I chew. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, that card is fantastic. Lee busted. Four or five, huh? I really want to play this dam breaker to pump pump both of these, but have you ever lost a home? <sighs> Does that make you a bugle boy? I heard, so I watched uh, like just a little bit of the Cory Ballmeister deck tech that he did today. Oh, I'm just gonna block this thing. If that means I get to keep my Vivian Reed alive, I am all for it. And so Ben Stark has previously said, pronounced bugler as bugler. And Cory Ballmeister pronounced the tay as Boogler. And I'm not sure if these guys actually know how to pronounce Bugler. Maybe because it's just so far removed from our time. That, like, it's just not common common parlance. But, like, it has definitely cracked me up. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. Bulger, like in Wheat Bulger. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Let's actually try to hit here. And we win. That's nice. Wine less than you. That's cool. We wanted lands, we can't we we have to put them on the bottom. What if they block with these two? I think I'm okay with that. Oh, really? Let's make sure we put Puppy Dog in the front. Why would I put this in front? Get out of here. Puppy dog in the front. The Boogie Woogie Bulge Boy? That doesn't sound good at all. Yep, you got it. Make sure all your things are proliferated onto. Yeah, go for it. Well, one flies. That is unfortunate, isn't it? Sure. I always survive. 
you'll see. And look, we went from being way ahead to them having two four fours. That's cool. Sweet. Sometimes you hope for a thing and you get a nothing instead. Why would you use the green for that? I don't know. Magic's hard, I guess. Yeah, I thought the auto-tapping got better for a while, but now it's like, it just feels like it's not holding up its end of the bargain. Like, for some reason it feels really, like, why would you tap the one forest for that? Like, I mean, it's, I mean, obviously we don't have any green, but like, it seems very obvious that I would rather keep a forest up. Yeah, seems good. Obviously keep a forest up. I don't want to turn off auto-tapping, though, because I don't want to have to click manually click every five things. Like, it just does, that just feels bad. But I, must I shouldn't have to do that. Oh, look. A forest. They had a feature basically that allows you to auto-tap. I don't know what that is, though, and I don't know how to get to it. <laughs> so it's like... Well... Look, I finally have no nothing to proliferate onto. Ten turns, ten turns later, when I finally get my sixth mana. Cool. Yep. Cool. All right. So we're at that time where we're talking about an O2. Yeah. Oh, wow, you have Callus defeat and the Wanderer in hand. Fantastic. Nothing but gas for you, my friend. To be fair, we did win that one game where my opponent conceded in round one for no reason and then just never showed up again. Also, look how weird these look with because of the green screen. That's extremely weird. It looks like they have it looks like they are well past their prime. Dark Frank, show us forbidden bugles. <laughs> Look with your eyes. I find it funny that crispy things get soft and soft things get crunchy when they get still. I also find that funny. It makes sense with drinks. Like when drink, when you leave a hot drink out, it gets cold. When you leave a cold drink out, it gets warm because of, you know, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for, guys? Give me the scientific term here. I can't think of. Is it equilibrium? I don't think it's equilibrium. Endothermic transmutation, that sounds more accurate. I should be able to put a spell on the stack and see how they tap. You can do that. Once you pull a card out, it'll show you which lands they're going to use. It 100% does that.
See, like, look, so if I click on, if I hold, if I take out the bind, the bonds of flourishing, it'll show me the exact two lands that it's going to use to tap. And then I can put it back. Transmutation, same thing. Shows me the two lands. Like, that's the thing it does. You want an extra button to press? The button is just literally one mouse button. That's all you gotta do. That seems like you're asking for a lot there, I'll be honest. Oh, boy. I guess we're gonna bond here. The only other option is Kazmina's Transmutation, so... I'll take Flux Channeler. Uh, we're gonna say no attacks, because we're trading like a 1-1 for a 2-2, and that doesn't seem good. That is too much? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Just that guy, huh? Um. Alright. I mean, if you have a giant growth, you could have just attacked this guy, too. I have yet to see this card. This is the first time this card's ever been played against me. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of an island. We can get another island. Now we don't have to draw the next time. Oh, another dam breaker, huh? I don't I also don't like the 35 degree tap just because it's it's just not like when I especially when I look at lands like it's hard to tell which lands are tapped and which lands aren't tapped when you're looking at a bunch in a row so they sack this make it a 3-3 three, three. I think this is fine this ends up being a 2 for 1 Like, you can barely tell this is the only creature attacking. I have to look for the arrow here. That's the only way I can tell. Yep, seems fine. Actually, it's two for two. Wow, they killed them. They killed that instead. That's fascinating. Oh, yeah, they get the pair of players that, like, tap, like, at a slight angle. Yep, that guy's pretty good. I mean, we're just gonna be aggressive here. <laughs> oh, God. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. That guy's fine. If they want to come out with this guy and a giant growth, that's rough. Oh god, they do. Oh, they don't. Oh, that's worse. Yikes. That's, that's a yikes for me. What do you get? A Dread Malkin or a Vraska's finish or a Pollen Bite or a Pollen Dirt Druid actually seems fucking busted in the situation, but alright. I mean, I feel like we can alpha here and eat most of their board. Keep turning them sideways, man. Um, who's 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 this? Who's getting blocked? Kill it.
No block. This guy's getting a lot of hand here. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, let's not bring the... I, let, I'd tap that meme back. That is not a wholesome meme. Why don't any of these dudes have trample for crying out loud? Come on, Time to have your death share in my strength. Whoops, didn't mean to spam those hearts. Well, you did, didn't you? Just this guy, huh? That seems aggressive. That guy too, huh? Do you have a creature that can kill us? No. So right now we're probably going to soak up the most damage. Because this guy's going to get through, but he's only going to deal 2 damage. And they have to have a removal spell for this. I guess we'll see. And they can kill this, but... I mean, as long as they don't have an answer for this, with our one final card remaining... That was just amazingly bad form. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Alternatively, I think you could have literally just killed one of my five sixes and won the game, but you know, why do that, I guess? Ugh, God. Just cringy. Chad <laughs> Joe hype. Yeah, that's <laughs> that'll do. That'll do. Transmutation just seems like trash. Like, if you just kill my 5 6, I can only block your 8 7 with my 5 6. I still take 2 from that guy, 4 from the other guy, which is 6, and then you have 2 1 power guys, so that's, I take a million. Alternatively, I block the 4 guy and I die. Like, I just literally die. I have 1 mana up. You just kill me if you play correctly. Instead of slow rolling the removal spell that you have. Like, I don't understand why that's your choice. Yeah, he could have literally killed the creature I blocked with to deal all eight. Like, that's... It doesn't... Yeah, like, there's like four, three different ways you could have won that game. And instead, you give me... You play the one way that gives me the most amount of hope. Mm. And takes the most amount of time. Sure, I'll take one, because I assume you have the Vraska's guy that kills it. Make this quick. I'm bored already. It's actually fine, I guess. That was a good use of Aldavriel. Oh, 
Oh look, it's that guy again. Hey, it's that boy. Well, nothing to do here, so. Have you ever considered that maybe you were a good use of Davriel? God, I'm dang. Oh, dang it. That's a good that's a good point. I had not considered that. There you go. Kill my guy that can block your guy. That's a good use of it. Congratulations. Now he's going to attack, but there's nothing in the graveyard to get back. Oh, it's a planeswalker as well. Well, don't I feel stupid. Boy. Oh, no attacks. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to actually play something. I didn't realize it was my turn. That's my bad. Um, first? Yeah. Boy, I would have loved to actually attack with both of these guys, but... Nope. That was rough. Dealing with you would be easier than dealing with demons. Perish the thought. Sure. Sure, my dude. Still with this guy, huh? No blocks. Okay. Now we want to hit a land and a cure as dam breaker. The problem with the, like the the creature that kills the damaged creature is that like once you know about it, it never really does anything again. It's really easy to play around. I've left you is pain. Okie dokie. <sighs> it's problematic because if we double block this guy, I guess we can just single block. Survival. It's survival. Are you guys ready for the courage in numbers or whatever it is? Strength and courage or whatever that card is? Bloom Hulk, that'll do. And they still have three mana up to make sure they can kill both of our big creatures. And we can block with Bloom Hulk and this guy to keep to keep the dam breaker alive, I guess. If both of our, if both the creatures you block with are dying, then we might as well do that. And then they're like, I'm going to get you with this guy. And still no. So if we block with this and this, only one of them dies, but then they get to play Vraska's Malcontent on the board or whatever it is and kill the other one. So. Now I feel like we're doing okay. Eat both. <laughs> Joke's on you. Yeah, he's not holding it. He's like, I don't even have that card. I bore it out, you dummy. That would be pretty next level, I'll be honest. I mean, we know what this card is, right? Come on. What if it's not that card? What if it's like... It's, it is. There you go. Okay, cool. He's like, okay, I'm not getting any value out of this whatsoever. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll be trading this. They're like, darn, I never got any value out of this. 
I just had to play it as a, a mediocre three two. Never seen water. If you want it, fight for it. I don't have words to explain. Gains us three life. Is that enough to see it save us? We're at one. We have to deal with everything? Nope. That's cool. That was a cool all your guys get menace card that you just top decked. Fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Sometimes the drafts don't go the way they want. That was a top deck, yes. And uh, I get two packs anyway, so good for me. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can it was one two, unfortunately. One two, not no two. And uh, you can find me at manatraders.com. You can use the promo code and the link in my description to get 20% off. 20% off the first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. You can also go to meundies.com uh, slash Frank Lepore, And uh, you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns on your purchase. And they have super comfortable clothing, so go there as well. You can also check my article out that went up on coolstuffinc.com yesterday. Entitled Evolving Orzov Angels for Standard. And you use promo code Frank5. You'll get 5% off your purchase. So check those links out. Support the stream. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.